This is Bill Carter at Trainer for the Stars, SeekingStars.org. <laughs> and um, he, right before we took that break, uh, he promised to give us our free session. Um, and uh, uh, he's a trainer. He, uh, at the ballets across the street. At the yeah. ballets. All, all we've really figured out about him so far is that he will break into your home when you're una- uh, most unaware or least suspected. Uh, I don't know I when that would asleep. be. I yeah, sleep. It's best if you're asleep because we get you at your most resting heart rate, and we get that heart rate up as, as quick as possible. Do you like to break into the time. window that's like right next to the bed, or do you break into like the kitchen window and like sort of shuffle around? And this is this this is this is the, the chasm between my expertise and your entire lack of knowledge. You try to do it as far away from the bedroom as possible, so they wake up with a start okay. and go, "What's that?" And then it's then it they're just like uh, it's a mad dash to try to figure out what to do from there. If it happens right in the room where you're sleeping, you have information right hmm. i want you to have no information pure panic what information do they have that an old man is breaking into your <laughs> yeah that's right somebody's breaking into the wind that's no, what it no is. an old man i mean so they're less frightened i don't that think that saying? you would think your first thought of me is that i'm an old man your first thought of me is i'm in trouble look at the look at the guns on this guy you it's take cool. you take guns with you <laughs> sometimes this? i do but i'm referring to my arms oh okay but occasionally i'll have one or two or three guns on me Really? Yeah, sure. <laughs> One or Let two me ask or three. You this question. Let yeah, me ask sure. you this question. Just because you mentioned having gone to jail a lot and so forth. Many, many times. Do you ever uh, try and train someone, but it turns out there's nobody in the house, and now you're in the house, so. Mm, great question. That is I a don't good know. question. Might sure. as well. A lot of the times I'll have my eye on a client, and I'll say, I'm going to make that guy a client. And I'll, you know, I'll stake out his property a little bit, make, find out whether there's an alarm system, all that stuff, you know. <laughs> stuff that normal trainers case, sure. <laughs> case the joint, as it were. <laughs> yeah. Like a trainer has to do. And then, I'm, of course, I want to break in when he's there, you know. Yeah. Oh, but sometimes course. you're right. It has happened that I broke in, and I'm waiting for somebody to come at me with their kitchen knives, you know, <laughs> and they don't come. And then I start looking for them, and they're not there. And then, yeah, just as you say, why not? You know, I don't have uh, one of these DVD VCR combos. <laughs> you know, because that's what you're looking for. Well, because I've got all these VHSs. Oh, really? Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I want well, to transfer you... them over to DVD. Do you have an time. extensive movie collection? So I might. Uh... No, it's all tapes of myself. <laughs> you do... <laughs> doing what? Doing what? Yeah, <laughs> working out, getting in shape. But <laughs> getting in shape in what way? Just getting in shape in all manner of different ways. <laughs> is this a? Is it a series? Is it? Is it? Is it like a series of tapes that you give people to train? Sometimes I hand like them out. P90, sure, I do. Like P ninety X, you know. Like I that. don't know what that is. It's like an exercise <laughs> regimen that you watch on DVD. Is this your version? I don't know what that is. But I'll be very honest with you. I did. I was going to start an exercise program like uh, Jane Fonda or uh, Richard Stanley's, and uh, I was going to start it up. And so I just started taping myself working out. Yeah. And never got around to it. But I've got literally thousands of hours of myself working out. What do you wear? Do you, you sell that? You're asking just the right question. <laughs> I don't wear anything on any of these tapes because I want people to see how the body is working. <laughs> you so, want to see the musculature yeah, that precisely. goes into. Uh-huh. So, yeah, that's right. That's thousands right. Thousands of hours. Of you working out in the nude. Now, just just to just just to right. just to get to the real just to get to the real nut of this. Yeah. What so to speak? No pun intended. Uh, what 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 do you do when you're working out? <laughs> All kinds of things are working out. Sometimes yeah. I'm just jumping up and down on the couch. Uh huh. Sometimes you know I had a whole series where I was saying, hey, you know what? Uh, yard work is a great workout. Uh-huh. So I'm just out there out my front lawn and I'm trimming the hedges and yep. stuff like that. Yeah. I'm saying, look at how your muscular no pun works. intended. When you trim, what's what would be the pun there, pal? Well, maybe you're trimming your pubic hair is what I'm trying to say. Oh no, no, forget that. Oh, you like a nice big bush? Sure, I do. Sure, <laughs> nice big gray bush. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. But Bar- anyway, Barbara uh, Bush. <laughs> Barbara Bush, she was a wonderful American. <laughs> there used to be a time when uh, Tragic, ladies, tragically gone, tragically yeah, taken from us. Well, I think she's still alive. But uh, <laughs> sometimes the workout is then I will uh, I'll just go into a public park and I'll just you know I'll just walk around take a good brisk walk yeah. out in the park and just that say, can hey. be very helpful to the heart well, yeah I'll, I'll say honest. you don't have to be on a treadmill in a gym you can walk around in public all you want I'll you be know. honest with you though Bill because uh, I mean in my mind I was picturing you doing like exercises in your house like camera set up on a tripod and a lot of the time I am but my but point is But if you're walking around in a public park naked who's shooting who's got the camera yeah. Victor <laughs> <laughs> Is this what Victor went to jail for? 
I just wanted, yeah, one of the times Victor went to jail, it was for this. But you have not gone to jail because of this. I'm faster than Victor. <laughs> really? What is Victor like? Yeah, well, he's he's giant and he's got terrible knees. He's so big. Mm. Terrible knees. Uh, yeah. Every step is, is a heartbreak for him, huh? He's literally, he's a giant. Victor yeah. is a giant. Oh, like, te- like Andre the Giant? He's classified as a giant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, six, uh, six, eight and above, I believe. Could be. Mm. Yeah, he's classified technically as a giant. And uh, I'm classified as a wizard. I saw a giant. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I think you just ran over something, Jason, that's that's very important. To... I caught it at the very end there. Okay, yeah. When you said classified <laughs> as a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> who, who is classifying you as thus, thusly? Oh, we've got a friend who uh, does these things out in the woods, and uh, she's an elf, and I'm a wizard, and Victor is a giant, and we have a lot of fun. And uh, I, I was only designi- designated a wizard because I can work magic with people's bodies. Huh. But nothing, sort of the, no uh, other magics. No, I mean, you know, I you dabble a little bit. You don't practice the dark arts. Yeah, sometimes, you know, I dabble a little bit in black magic. And, you know, I mean, God knows we've been trying to conjure Satan for decades. And <laughs> never have gotten around, you know, never yeah, have done it. But, never found the time. Yeah, never. Well, no, it's not. It's not. Believe me, we put in hours. But No, no, know, he, he doesn't have it. Huh? He doesn't have the time. Oh, Satan doesn't have the time. That yeah. may be. Have you but, given uh, him human blood? Uh, I mean, a lot of times conjuring Satan requires yeah. a blood sacrifice. Yeah. Right. Let me just say, we've we've made every effort to conjure Satan. <laughs> Let me just say that, okay? Okay. Every I, effort. I'd like you to be a little more specific. <laughs> we, Buddy, if you if you can think of it and that it might conjure Satan, we've given it a try mm. because uh, there's a lot of things. Because a lot of people think, you know, like uh, killing a goat or killing a virgin. Yeah. Or, or or a kill, teenage boy, or uh, having sex with the corpse of the person you sure, killed. Sure, sure, mm. sure. Drinking a lot of blood. That doesn't know. do it, huh? Huh? I noticed. Do, do, do you do you use, use your own blood a lot? Because I noticed some strange, other than the scars all over your surgery, surgery scars. scars you yeah. have some strange scars on your wrists. Here on my wrists. Yes, I'm what's known in the suicide community as a 19 or I've tried 19 times to kill yourself. Yeah, the, that's right. The Hardcastle, huh? The the Paul Hardcastle. I don't know that of suicides. I don't know that. Okay. <laughs> what is that? He sang a song called 19. Oh, did he? Oh. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. Or uh, the Steely Dan of Suicides. You can oh, also Hey 19. Hey, 19. That song, That's more that's your a, speed, huh? But are you Those talking guys. about that? No, 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 19. Yeah, yeah. Purple Heart, Sissa Saigon. I got it. Um, so why would you try to commit suicide so many times? It seems like your life is so great. You, yeah, uh, it does, doesn't it? You're a wizard. You're a PT. Yeah, sure. But no, the idea is uh, that I'm going to come back. You know, I'm going to go down and I'm going to meet Satan and I'm going to be imbued with certain uh, powers, uh, superhuman powers, and then I'll, and then he will, uh, and then I'll come back. How would you would you do that by fighting Satan? Do you feel like is it like a strength, or is this some sort of bargain? I'd love to fight Satan. Hmm. I'd love to fight, get down there and fight him. <laughs> give him a real. I know just what I'd do. I'd give him a kick to the solar plexus. Yeah. And then I'd grab him by those horns of his, mm. and it would be nose to the knee, his nose to my knee. That is, those horns are a weakness. They I are, have to they're say, a anything weakness. that protrudes like that is, uh, it's like Batman's cape. You just grab his cape. Huge mistake. Yeah, you know? yeah big mistake. Yeah, it's pretty bad news. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you've never succeeded? As far as I know. You know, it's possible that I have encountered Satan uh, during one of my blackouts after uh, trying to kill myself, and I just don't remember it when I wake up. Hmm. It's very possible. And every time you just wake, do you wake up in the hospital? Like, what, what, how does... In the, in the hospital or in a graveyard. Sometimes I'll try to kill myself in a graveyard. Because now, here's the thing. You Earlier you took your shirt off yeah. and said these are all surgery scars. And now right. I'm inclined to believe that they're not, in fact, surgery Depends scars. Depends on how you define surgery. The, I, yeah. Have you tried to perform surgery on yourself? Have you performed amateur surgery on in, yourself? In a, in a sense. A, in a sense. You know, what, what, what I'm trying to do, gentlemen, is part of a whole long ritual that takes hours to perform where we've, we've done our best to communicate with Satan and I kill myself. <laughs> And I die, and I go to hell, and I, you know, I commune with Satan down there, mm-hmm. and he gives me powers to go back as one of his minions, and I am bodily resurrected, okay? And then I go, and now I'm, now I'm Satan's minion on earth. I'm have, serving Satan. I, I noticed, uh, too— And in a sense, that's a surgery. That, that you have a little tiny hole in the back of your head. Have you, have you tried the uh, uh, trepanning, where you drill a hole in your head in order to sort of uh, get more oxygen to your brain to— uh, I, I don't know why the hole was drilled in my head. <laughs> so that was that not was, self-inflicted. Uh, yes, somebody else did that? Yeah, that was part of somebody else's thing. They <laughs> says, huh. what yeah, I knew this chick for a while in Venice, and she says, you know, we were dating for six months. She says, can I drill a hole in your head? I said, all right. 
But because I, of the time that you'd been together, or, or six months, six is months not is, a long time. I mean, I've been together with people for years, who, and I would not have let. Them. Yeah, and they say, "Hey, do you?" You don't do know you, until somebody asks yeah. what you would do. But I says, "Yeah, all right." Says, so you, that's how you found out that yeah, you'd let someone drill a hole in your head because they asked you. If they asked me to, sure. Hmm. I mean, well, she was a she was a sweet piece of ass. Do, do you mind if I drill a hole, a piece. different hole in the back of your body? I just met you, and you're not even a client. If were were I a client, would you let me? I tell you What's what, you t- train with me. You commit right now to nine months of training. You can drill a hole anywhere in me that you want. <laughs> After when, the nine months, or just right? You commit upon to the it agreement. now, and you can drill a hole anywhere you want. That's fine. When she said, "I'd like to drill a hole in your head," was it? Was it in an effort, like Scott was saying, to, to get more oxygen and to increase your brain's capacity, or is it a kind of sex play thing? Well, you know what? Funny you should say that. I, when she says to me, can I drill a hole in your head, I thought she meant metaphorically mm. or something like that. I want to get into your brain or like whatever. she wanted know. to stick her penis into your mouth. And I, just like... I don't know. I just mm. said, yeah, okay. Then she actually brought out a drill, mm-hmm. you know, and- uh, And a vice grip. <laughs> well, I, because she says, believe me, you're going to struggle. I says, I won't. She says, you're going to struggle. <laughs> So, yeah. Did she put any kind of anesthetic on it or anything like that? Anything to numb the area? No, that's funny. No, she didn't. She really didn't. I'll tell you something. It really did hurt. But uh, I, I, I don't remember if I asked her why she was doing it in the end. It was a very uh, hectic day. <laughs> yeah, a lot going on that really? day. Yeah, a lot going on that day, yeah. yeah. And it ended with a hole being drilled. Yeah, in your that's head. right. So, I don't know. Maybe that's a good point. Maybe it was to bring more oxygen into my head. Maybe it's worked. Maybe it's why I look so great at 88. Hmm. Really don't look that yeah, good. Yeah, don't look great. <laughs> what are you talking um, about? So, uh, w- and when you say the suicide community, are you a part of that community? Or? Sure, sure. So w- what does that entail? Oh, there's just a bunch of us who get together and talk about what we did last time and what we're planning to do next time, and we just sort of give each other support. Really, a lot of people would say support would include encouraging people not to try it again. Well, this is a different kind of group. This is a group of people who why, are... Why, n- why wouldn't a group like this just agree to murder each other? Hmm, well, we're not point. a murder group. That's a different kind of group. That's I not could a join murder that group. suicide pact. No. Yeah, that's a different. That's group. Because just I, a suicide pact for a group on, of man. people who have attempted suicide so many times to failure. Yeah, why not farm it out? Why not farm it out and be like, you know what? We all have great ideas. Uh huh. Maybe we like the follow through. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Boom, this is you just you off a... me, he off him. Boo right. boo 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 boo. You're talking about a different group. This is just a support group for people who are trying to kill themselves and has not and have not been able to succeed and are trying and trying and trying and we gain strength from one another and strength uh, to encourage you to try again. Yeah. You're talking about a different kind of group that would be a murder suicide group and a lot of folks do go from our group onto a group like that. Mm. You know, and yeah. they have a lot of success with it. But that's God, not your God group. bless them. That's not my thing. I'm not into it. I want to do it myself. You Ooh. do. It's a sense of accomplishment. Because and if you had so, hired like a, a personal assassin um, I, I, I don't know Victor. why I said personal, like personal chef. <laughs> like a personal assassin. A personal assassin. I keep an assassin <laughs> on retainer. <laughs> if you had hired an assassin to yeah. do it yourself. I'd feel like I cheated. Yeah. You know, plus, I could plus tell when Victor. Satan got down when you got down there to Satan, maybe he'd look at you like, hmm, can't do it yourself, huh? Precisely. Why would and, Satan... and I might not go to hell because uh, you know, you kill yourself, you're going straight to hell, pal. I'll tell you. Mm. Why and you would want... Satan give That's you powers? Go. Like why why if you here's the thing, like you're obviously incapable of killing even yourself. That's not fair. <laughs> like why are you worthy of Satan's uh why should Satan's eye be on you to imbue you with powers and make you a dominion of his on earth? Because I'm extremely charismatic. <laughs> people look Can't at, argue with that. People look at this body and they say I'll follow that guy anywhere. And uh, I think honestly I think a lot of them are saying I think that guy is following me everywhere. <laughs> What's the difference? This guy again with the <laughs> hair splitting. And, uh, you know, I'm powerful. I'm physically powerful. I'm mentally powerful. Hmm. Uh, I think I would make a wonderful uh, minion of Statens if he so chooses to uh, assign me that task here on Earth. I would love to see an example of you being mentally powerful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, you, you would... say you're a wizard, so. Well, I'm just a wizard in terms of what I can do with people's bodies. We're okay. just having fun in the forest. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to make you do something right now. All right. I'm going to make you do something. All right. Here we go. Okay. Well, there we go. That was easy. Wait, what did I do? You sat, you sat there looking smug. <laughs> That's what I was trying That's to That's what you're trying to make him do? Accomplish I, that I time. believe I was doing that before you. It is impressive, actually. Thank you very much. Now, are we going to get training or what?